Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your love reading. This will be for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. And it'll be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with everyone watching. Take what resonates, leave the rest. I'm reading for a lot of people, so not every reading will be completely 100% for one person. Um, there might be bits and pieces that you can take from it and apply to your situation. Um, sometimes this reading will not resonate at all, and that's okay. It just means it wasn't your reading this time around, but maybe the next one will be. All right, Sagittarius, let's get into it. For Sagittarius, please, in regards to love spirit. For Sagittarius, regarding love. What does Sagittarius need to know in love spirit? Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, and subscribed. Uh, your likes and subscribes really help the channel grow, so thank you for that. Especially those of you that take the time to write such sweet comments. Does not go unnoticed for Sagittarius Spirit. We got Express Your Love. And Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. What else for Sagittarius? Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Trust. Situation is calling for you to have faith. What else for Sagittarius spirit? Healing family issues. So there could be some sort of family issues here or um, perhaps children are involved. For some of you here. The situation is calling for you to have faith. Interesting. Maybe some of you, I, I just feel um, pulled to this card in particular. Like perhaps this was a hopeless situation at some point or you are losing faith that this will happen for you. Let's get into the tarot. Using the tarot of the golden wheel today for Sagittarius spirit. What do they need to know in regards to love? What do they need to know in regards to love? Messages for Sagittarius, please. What do they need to know in regards to love? Oh, I keep, I keep doing that. I tell myself that for these monthlies, I'm just going to cut the deck and then do a past present and feature spread and then I always end up shuffling before cutting the deck okay let's see so like I said I'm gonna be doing a past present future spread keeping it simple I'm just gonna pull all the cards at once okay in the recent past Wow ace of cups okay starting off strong ace of cups this is in the recent past here time is fluid so don't you know focus on that too much but just to make it easy, we'll say that this is the recent past. New love. Two of swords reverse, a choice being made possibly here. I'm gonna clarify most of these. And Knight of Pentacles reverse. So something very slow and coming, which kind of comes with this trust energy that I'm picking up here. Like, um, like maybe it has been so long in coming that you're losing faith. For some reason, I'm picking that up. So what's in the present here? Six of Cups. The past. Or it could be a past life connection. Something very sweet, innocent almost. Um, could be that you have been with this person in another life, or it could be that the connection itself is very sweet and tender. For some of you, there's definitely children involved. I'm just picking that up. Queen of Pentacles reverse. Interesting, right in the center of a spread. Queen of Pentacles reverse. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy here. Queen of Pentacles reverse is unable to give either because she's selfish or because she's dependent on others. So she's unable to really Contribute. Interesting. It might be that you're having 
uh, financial difficulty. It might be that there's something going on within a connection where um, there might have been a separation because Queen of Pentacles is usually in a commitment. Um, she's only thinking of herself. You might also just be thinking of yourself being selfish out of necessity. Anyways, let's keep going because <laughs> I could just keep talking. The High Priestess. Interesting. Something unknown, something secret here. Something that hasn't been spoken. What's coming up in the near future? Knight of Cups reversed. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Page of Pentacles reversed. I don't think this, I feel like this is an offer that, or an opportunity that's going to be dealing with a lot of hurdles. I'm not sure why possibly family issues, but it's like, this isn't really taking off here. And then three of wands, you're kind of waiting with expectation, waiting for something to come to you, waiting to venture out and see what else is out there. See what you can find, discover, um, expecting something back after you've put in some work here with the uh, three of wands. We're going to break this down. What's at the bottom? The chariot reverse, interesting. Cancer energy here with the chariot reverse. Could be that you feel stuck, unable to move. Um, something is very delayed or you need to change direction in order to have success. Help me clarify these energies for Sagittarius, please. Break this down so i feel like there's like some sort of love offer that comes in um that is based on genuine emotion you know however when it comes to commitment or really starting this off um it's delayed or blocked in some way that's what i'm seeing so far Tell me about this Two of Swords reverse. Ten of Wands, Five of Pentacles. Okay, so this has been an offer that, well, not an offer, a decision, sorry. A decision that you're making in terms of like putting down a burden that has to do with uh, something that's emotionally missing in your life. So for example, you've probably felt really lonely, missing your person, disconnected from whoever you're interested in. There might be emotional distance between you. Um, you feel abandoned, left behind, and this has been a burden. And I feel like you've made a decision regarding that. What else can you tell me about the Two of Swords? Reverse. What else do we need to know about this Two of Swords? Reverse. Two of Cups. Wow. Definitely, this is a decision about a partnership. You've really been thinking about this, Sagittarius, about what to do about either love in general or a specific person, a specific relationship for some of you. I feel like there has been a burden, a weight, emotional weight, emotional burden regarding a connection or regarding love. Tell me about Knight of Pentacles reverse. Why is this? Knight of Pentacles reverse here. The Knight of Pentacles reverse for me as a reader usually makes it to his destination, but it takes him forever. What's telling? Interesting. Queen of Cups reverse. There's something here with where the emotional. Emotionally, there's an. Uh, how do I say that? There's there's something's off emotionally here for someone. This could be a spread all about you, Sagittarius, or it could be a spread all about your person or both. So I'm going to say this is you just to keep things simple, but feel free to flip it like it, you know, if it resonates more for you. But with the Queen of Cups reverse, she is somebody, and I have a Queen of Cups reverse and a Queen of Pentacles reverse. These two are not very stable or grounded, especially the Queen of Cups reverse. She tends to be emotionally attached, codependent. Um, also, her emotions are kind of all over the place, off balance. 
And so I think whatever's happening with this offer taking forever, I think you're not coping well. She tends to be a little bit manipulative as well. And I have a Knight of Cups reversed down here, which also tends to be a manipulative energy. Can I get one more please for this Knight of Pentacles reverse? All right, they give me two. Okay, so we got the Nine of Wands reverse and the Two of Pentacles. Again, with the choice, the decision making, uh, maybe juggling two different things. Someone might be juggling two people, two responsibilities, two situations, and it's delaying them. I have the Nine of Wands reversed here, which the Nine of Wands reverse is someone that is like about ready to give up. Again, this energy I'm picking up of someone losing faith, losing hope. I'm sorry if you can hear that noise in the background. It's the garbage truck. Tell me about this um, Six of Cups. Why is the Six of Cups here? For Sagittarius, what can you tell me about this Six of Cups? The Fool Reverse. See, it's like something's not really beginning. There's either a delay in a new beginning or something extremely reckless or risky when it comes to the past or a connection. What else can you tell me about this Six of Cups? King of Pentacles reversed. So if you're, um, you might not have the resources, the financial resources to have a new beginning or someone from the past or something from the past is leaving you um, with financial difficulties. Perhaps there has been a separation here because I have the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles reversed. And to me, it's just not a good partnership when I have two like cards from the same suit, um, like two pairs from the same suit, and they're not upright at all. Um, by the way, reversals are not bad cards, and I do a lot of reversals because that's the cards that come out. I don't, ch I don't choose them ahead of time. Um, but that's, that doesn't mean that this is a bad message. It's just telling me that there's something going on in a connection here. You know, they're both reversed, which means they're not doing very well with each other or regarding a situation that they're both in, you know? So for some reason I'm picking up here, finances might be a factor. Um, I feel like, you know, I have the Knight of Pentacles reverse, Queen of Pentacles reverse, King of Pentacles reverse. It's like something is not very stable. Maybe you don't have the resources or the stability to have a new beginning to take a risk. Tell me about the Six of Cups, please. One more for the Six of Cups. The Tower Reverse. Or it could be that you don't... Okay, so this Tower... I have the Ace of Swords at the bottom, by the way. Um, this Tower, I feel whether someone's trying to avoid it or prepare for it or you know they see it coming um, i feel like there's either a conversation happening regarding a, a very important moment in this connection or there's clarity because of an oncoming tower so like this is some for some reason when i see this card and for your energy specifically i just picture someone who already is has like a premonition or an, or a suspicion about what's coming towards them it's like they see this train coming towards them and so they're trying to figure out what to do this is something that typically towers are when, when it's upright it's an unexpected event it's an unexpected shakeup. but when it's reversed it could be that you have like a narrow escape like you narrowly escape a tower or you're preparing for it in a way um, or trying to avoid it because you see it coming so when it's reversed i feel like there's something you already know is is headed your way I think it's connected to the past or to children because I keep getting that message as well. For some of you, definitely, this is something to do with children. Um, for the rest of you, this is something that has to do with the past. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles reverse. Oh, too many. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles reverse, please, Spirit for Sagittarius. Ten of Cups and then the Three of Pentacles reversed. 
again with the family i feel like this is this card this is telling me family issues something's not working um some maybe two people three people are not working together maybe there's a third party situation that's affecting a family um something here's not working something is not working and i feel like someone has pulled back this queen of pentacles has pulled back here tell me more about this queen Gosh. tell me more about this queen of pentacles reverse please seven of cups reversed again a decision being made there's something here about a decision for a lot of you here where you've made a decision about something and now there's another decision to make i have a two of pentacles and then i have the seven of cups reverse two of swords reverse um with the seven of cups reverse again clarity there's clarity this queen knows something this queen knows that this isn't working that there's something off here breaking free at the bottom of the deck here with the eight of swords reverse someone mentally breaking free of a mental prison of their fear um, of not knowing how to handle a situation not seeing a way out they're taking off the blindfold here so they're seeing something very clearly that something is not working so this i feel like is you sagittarius what's this high priestess doing here queen of swords the truth i feel like there's something that was hidden here that you're uncovering another queen tell me about the high priestess three of cups this could have something to do with more than one person could be family could be friends could be co-workers could be um a third party situation here could be about um, coming together with someone with the three of cups tell me about the high priestess please tell me about the high priestess please the hermit reversed virgo energy here And then I have the three of swords reversed. This is definitely a third party situation for most of you. I feel like someone withdrew completely due to a third party interference. And it's because they got down to the truth. They real they discovered the truth. Tell me about the Knight of Cups reverse. This is somebody that you can't really believe their or trust their intentions because their intention is to tell you whatever it is that they need to tell you to get you off of their back. You know, they just want to tell you what you want to hear so that you can back off. Tell me about the night. Can I please keep the, my cards in my hand? Hold on. Sorry, guys. Tell me about the Knight of Cups reverse. Three of Swords reverse again. Emperor energy here. Aries energy with Emperor. Again, I feel like someone here might be trying to heal a situation, take charge of a situation, um, but they're they're emotionally blocked or trying to manipulate the situation. I feel like these are two different people. This Emperor energy, they um. The emperor is not swayed by his emotions. Very strong, confident, decisive energy with the emperor. He is um, focused and does not let the, his emotions influence his decisions. Um, he can be a little cold, the emperor. So I don't see him being this Knight of Cups reversed. Completely different energies. I feel like this knight of cups reverse is approaching this emperor someone who has taken charge who is seeing things very clearly this emperor knows about this third party can we get one more for this knight of cups reverse please yeah i feel like this emperor is gonna either put 
an end to this. Yeah, see how the King of Cups is upright? This is someone who is the King of Cups. He embraces his emotions, very emotionally mature. But once again, his emotions don't keep him from making smart or wise decisions. So there's something here that it's almost like if someone has a lot of love for someone else, it's not like they're going to let that love impact their decision making when it comes to a situation. There's something ending, wrapping up here with the Ten of Swords. Tell me about the page of pen. And it could be anything, you know, it does not have to be a partnership that you're ending, but there's a cycle coming to a close. Something that's, I feel related to this tower. Tell me about the page of pentacles reverse. Yeah, there's something here. This, this offer is just not, not coming, not successful, not, not arriving. There's a delay. Page of swords. It's like you're talking, but there's no real, um, it's like having serious conversations and it, you know, maybe expressing your emotions, but there's not a lot of uh, commitment or action behind it. Temperance, there you are, Sagittarius. And the Eight of Cups reversed. So this could be in, uh, read in two different ways. Someone here is returning to have something come together here to have a conversation possibly with the page of swords that's one thing i'm seeing the other thing i'm seeing is that someone is delayed from leaving a situation and more time is needed more patience is needed for things to come together here what's at the bottom of the deck king of wands so there's something that someone i mean this could be you that you want something to happen King of Wands makes things happen. They're very um, confident, courageous, impulsive, but in a good way. They they just go after whatever the, it is that they want. So I feel like there's something here that you want to come together peacefully or to happen for you. Um, but there's an Eight of Cups reverse. So either someone's coming from the past and returning to interrupt this um, or come together with you, or you're unable to leave towards whatever it is that you want because more time and patience is needed here. Tell me about this Three of Wands. Again, with the waiting with the Three of Wands. Tell me about the Three of Wands, please. For Sagittarius. Four of Swords reverse, waiting um, to get up and move. Any more judgment waiting to make a judgment call here possibly this could be a second chance as well for a rebirth in a connection for some of you and then yeah so the fighting is over um there's a new cycle here that is taking place um due to this ending. So this ending is going to lead to a cycle, whatever this ending is. A new cycle, a new phase. This is new here, new, new, new. Whether it's a new chance or a second chance at, a, uh, maybe there's like a reconciliation and it's like you're trying things from the beginning again and trying to have a new start, or this is something completely new. Um, you've had so some sort of awakening or made a judgment call to have a new cycle here, a new beginning. Now that the fighting is over, now that you've healed and, and you know, it's like now you're just waiting for the right time, waiting to make a move. Otherwise, I'll leave it here, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for checking out this video and I'll see you in another one. Take care.